guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming kind of an exciting video. I had mentioned this in one of my other videos and you guys really hopped on the bandwagon and said yes, you would like to see this. So I decided to film my favorite neutral palettes for you guys and I just thought it would be so fun to break it down by price point because I definitely have a variety of neutrals. So I have like over the $80 mark of neutrals <laughs> and then I have like between like the $30 to like the $79 price point and then I have stuff that's under 30 bucks. So I got a lot of variety and I thought it would be so fun to share with you guys because I've obviously tried almost all these palettes. I think I've tried all of them. If I haven't, I will let you know. And they work with my skin tone, so that's always a plus because sometimes you're like looking at a palette and you're like, I don't know that one. So I thought this would be really fun. If you guys want to see my favorite neutral palettes broken down by price point, just keep watching. So I thought it would be fun to start off with like my high-end palettes just to like keep things spicy, you know? So I'm going to save the most affordable till the end. Also, you might want to grab a snack. There's a lot of eyeshadow palettes in this video, so get excited. The first two I wanted to mention are my Viseart palettes. These are like my favorite neutral all matte palettes. I have the neutral matte as well as the warm matte. And I must say, if you are ever debating between the two of these, I would go with the neutrals because I definitely reach for this one more now. It doesn't look as used as, you know, I would like for an $80 palette, but they are definitely staples and essentials in my collection. I really, really enjoy these. The only shades I haven't really used in this one are these like more cool tones because you guys know I'm not really a cool tone kind of gal. And then when they said they were coming out with a warm one, I just like went right for it. And they have updated the packaging on these palettes. I'm not going to buy them just to have them in the updated packaging, of course. The ones I have are perfectly fine. I love neutrals and I love the Viseart mattes. They blend so well. And those are just palettes to reach for when I'm in a hurry and I just want like a quick crease and I'm out the door. So I love those two palettes very much. They're very pricey, but I definitely feel like they're worth it. I like their mattes. I don't like their shimmers. Just wanted to give you guys that quick disclaimer. Now, you guys know I love Hunty Pat. She's like one of my favorites and I figured no high-end neutral recommendation would be complete without her. So I did include this guy. Now, most of you might not really see this as a neutral, but I think this is definitely the most neutral of our palettes. She does always include like some good browns and some good crease shades in all of our palettes, I would say. But I wanted to throw this one in there just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a little va va voom because you can definitely do a neutral eye with these six shades right here but you can pair it with any of the special shades and it just takes your eye look to a whole nother level. She's also been coming out with more neutral palettes. I would say Midnight Sun is a good everyday, more of an everyday palette from her because it doesn't contain the special shades and the shimmers are gorgeous. And like at first when I got the palette, I was really disappointed because I was like, mm, I don't think I'm gonna be wearing this as much as the other ones, or I didn't think it was as fun as the other ones, but honestly, I took it on vacation when we went on like an overnight little trip, and I really enjoyed creating eye looks with it. So I was wrong about that palette. It's definitely got a place in my collection, but I didn't want to add it into a neutral palette video because it has like a green and a purple, whereas I think the Mothership 5 is a little bit more neutral and has those fun pops of texture that you can check out. The last expensive neutral palette is the Natasha Denona Biba palette. Now, I was definitely a Natasha Denono person. For the longest time, I was like, this lady cannot get her formulas right. Like, some palettes are amazing, some palettes are not amazing. They're way too expensive to be that inconsistent. But I think in 2019, she's come full circle and every palette from her, I've really been loving. I love this packaging and I was able to grab one of those like, $100 perks from Sephora. So that's what I used to buy this guy because it's definitely pricey. It doesn't get used as much as I want to use it, but this is a great neutral palette from Natasha Denona. So if you aren't like into blue eyeshadow every day, then check out the Natasha Denona Biba palette. It's really, really good and I really like it. And I think she's come a long way with her brand and I've really been enjoying her eyeshadows this year. Okay friends, now we've made it to the medium price point. I don't know all the prices of these products off the top of my head, but I did think I would should start off with this guy. Now this does not 
really work with my skin tone, but I did buy it. And I think it's a great neutral palette for those light skin beauties out there. So this is the Pillow Talk Quad from Charlotte Tilbury. This is amazing. Her shimmers are beautiful. This is like grown up makeup. Like it's not the most like foiled eyeshadow look, but her shimmers are beautiful. So I would recommend her quads for like your wedding day or if you're a bougie bitch and you have like a fancy job that you like to wear a little makeup so you look a little done up, but not like over the top. I would totally recommend that quad especially if you're light toned. I don't know if she has any quads that are tan girl friendly. I'm not willing to spend any more money to do the research. I do have another palette from her, which you guys will see in a different collection video. It's kind of a neutral slash rainbow palette. I don't know how to explain it, but that's for a different video. But I do think Charlotte Tilbury has a good eyeshadow formula, so I did want to include that. Another neutral palette that you can't really get anymore, but I figured you never know. They might relaunch this at some point, and you guys might be wondering if I have this, if it's any good. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mario palette, and it's beautiful. The thing about Mario is, you know these are his tones because if you look at his new palette that he just came out with with KKW and his Muse and um, Makeup Artist collection that he launched, it's very similar tones. Like he loves a good shimmer, he loves a good neutral, and again, he's, his aesthetic is very much a grown-up, bougie, like celebrity makeup look, you know? so. I love that for him. I did pick up that palette. It's probably on its way to me, so you guys will see a video about that separately, but I do like that palette a lot. Anastasia is just like the queen of neutrals, so of course I had to include the Soft Glam palette. This was like one of those palettes where when everyone saw it, they were like, really? Like, come on, that's so boring, because we all wanted color at that point, but I'm so glad I bought this because it's so good. This is another one of those palettes where if you're in a hurry, you're out the door, you want to grab this and do a beautiful eye look. Her shimmers are amazing. This palette is so good. I don't know what else to say. It's so good. I like it. I love it. I'm never getting rid of it. It's one of my favorite, favorite Anastasia palettes. So another one that I was kind of not sure about this one, but I thought I'd include this in this video because even though it's not really like me 100%, it doesn't mean that it might not work for you. So this is the Soul Tree palette. I think you can still buy this and if you can't buy it, I'm sure you'll be able to find it at like a TJ Maxx or Macy's or something like that. But it's like a cool tone version of the Soft Glam. It's got some beautiful shimmers in it, which is why I picked it up. And I like it. It's definitely not my favorite neutral palette, but it is a good neutral palette. And it is from a good brand with really great quality. So I thought I would mention it to you guys. I got the queen of neutrals, Miss Kim Kardashian West. These are my... KKW palettes, I don't even think I've used these enough, but I do love to use these on my friends because every once in a while my friends will be like, haha, you like makeup, do my makeup. So I love having these in my collection because they're just great neutrals for, for the kind of events and stuff that I need to do my friends makeup for. So this is her Classic Blossom palette and then this is the, it just says KKW eyeshadow palette. Uh, I think this is a neutrals and then this is her blossom. I don't know, but these are great and she has other more neutral palettes too on her Website, so if you're like stumped and you want like a good neutrals, I would recommend KKW. I know her brand is very neutral <laughs> like that's her thing and there's nothing wrong with that so excited and glad I have those in my collection and then the last one this one does not get as much love from me as it used to but this is the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette this is beautiful their formula is so nice like it's so shimmery and gorgeous I used to own many more palettes from them but I kind of got a little bit bored with this color story so I haven't really been reaching for my like warm neutral palettes as much but I still have it and I thought it would be perfect to include in this video. Okay guys, so now we're on to the under $30 category and this is the biggest category and I felt like if I had kept digging, I could probably find even more palettes that would fit into this category in my collection, but for the purpose of like time and also like nobody needs to buy all these eyeshadow palettes, I decided to just show you guys these ones. So the first 
few I haven't actually used yet, but I thought I'd mention them. So this is my Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette, and I think this is so cute. I picked it up in New York, and I got to meet Natasha Denona, so she signed it for me. But I have used the Natasha Denona Mini Gold, and I think that's a beautiful palette, so I'm assuming that this one is going to be just as good, and my friend Teresa is dead has been raving about this, so I picked that up based on her recommendation, and I'm very excited to eventually try that on my eyeballs, and I will keep you guys posted. Another palette, this is definitely kind of is like a low-key packaging buy, but um, this is from Makeup Revolution, and this is like a $7 neutral palette, and it's got this amazing like coffee packaging, so like my basic butt ran for it and this is what the inside looks like. I also have their avocado palette which I also haven't tried um, but I thought I'd mention this in this video in case you guys kind of wanted like an affordable option but trust me there's a ton of affordable eyeshadow palettes in this video so you guys are gonna find a ton of things to check out. Another one that I haven't used on my, well no I used this one on my eyes didn't I? Yeah I did but not enough. Oh this is great actually I should have talked about this when I talked about the Biba palette but this is the Alter Ego Sahara palette and it's supposed to be a dupe for the for the Natasha Denona Biba palette so if you don't want to shell out 130 bucks these ones I feel like are good and I think it's great for somebody that's on a budget because not everyone wants to spend 130 freaking dollars on an eyeshadow palette. So definitely check this out. I will do a look with this palette on my channel and it's soft touch and I do have a discount code for them. So check them out. And yeah, they're a little like gold palette dupe, the goddess palette. I really like that one too. So definitely wanted to mention that particular palette in this video. Another amazing brand, Juvia's Place, has the Warrior palette. This is such a beautiful palette. So many beautiful shimmers. So if you're into like very neutral shimmers, this was like their first neutral palette because they do so much color. They've done a few more since then. So I would definitely recommend checking that out. And I love their formula, so A plus for that. This is the most expensive little um, palette in this section, I think. If I'm wrong, let me know. But yeah, this is the Huda Nude Rich palette, and she came out with a light as well as a medium. I wanted those ones, but to prevent being savage, I just bought the one shade in the Rich, and I created a look with this palette, and it was like, it was beautiful. So if you want to see more about that palette, Definitely check out that video, and I did do a collab, so if you want to see the other two shades, the ladies that picked those up will be in the description box for that video. This palette is so funny because this is a series of palettes that VH Cosmetics did, and the first one they did was Capricorn, and I'm a Capricorn, so I, you know, had to pick this up, and they got so much shit for this series, and this was definitely one of the palettes they got extra shit about. I think everyone could talk crap about every single palette that they launched, to be very, very honest. But this palette is like 14 bucks, and I wanted to talk to you guys about it in this video because I think it's a great neutral palette. Like, especially if you're on a budget, like 14 bucks, and it's great, and you get like a highlighter. So I wanted to throw this in the video, even though a lot of people have been shaming BH Cosmetics for their Zodiac series. I think the Capricorn one is a great addition for any neutral lovers out there. This is another great neutral palette from BH Cosmetics. I think this is still available on their website, but this is their first collab with It's My Ray Ray, and she is a person of color, so she incorporated some beautiful neutral eyeshadows as well as some face palette as well as basically a full face palette. So there's three different highlights for three different skin tones and then three different contours for three different skin tones. And I don't think this is very expensive. So it's like a really fun palette and I'm pretty sure you can get these at like TJ Maxx and stuff now. So I really, really would recommend you guys checking this out if you're on the hunt for something like that. And then last but certainly not least are some of my ColourPop shadows. Now, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, ColourPop, where was the color? They've been doing so many neutral palettes and people have been like complaining. So now we're getting like every single thing from them. Like we've got color, we got Disney, we got glitter. We got, ColourPop has something for everyone, let me tell you. And before I talk about the shadows in my collection already, I have to talk to you guys about this new 
palette that they just sneak peek, which is probably going to be out by the time you guys see this video, but it's like this palette called the Bare Necessities palette, and it's like a neutral palette on steroids. So this is a mega eyeshadow palette called Bare Necessities for $30, and this will launch on November 28th at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on ColourPop. So I think this is honestly a great palette. I don't see myself buying it, but I definitely always give the disclaimer that, listen, I'm a clown. I buy the most ridiculous things sometimes. Like, I told myself I wasn't going to buy their coconut palette, and then I was like, mm, might as well. So I, like, threw it into the cart when I bought the butterfly palette, which I was also not going to buy, but here we are. So full disclosure, it could happen. I'm not saying it's going to, but it could happen. But honestly, I think that palette is great. Like, good price point, good formula, beautiful packaging, and... Yeah, I, I, I mean, <laughs> I don't recommend buying every ColourPop collection that they launch on a weekly basis, but they do come out with some good stuff, so I don't blame people for loving that brand. Okay, so what do I have in my collection? So this was really funny because I didn't really think of this as a neutral, but when I opened it, I was like, oh my gosh, that is such a neutral palette. So this is the, it's a princess thing palette by ColourPop. This is definitely not one of my favorite palettes. I actually really want to declutter this, but I keep like holding on to it thinking I'm going to do something with it. But it's beautiful. It's got some really great neutrals and I don't know what else to say about it. This is by far one of my favorite neutral palettes from ColourPop. I totally didn't realize what a great palette this was. And I only picked this up, I think sometime this year. But this is a bomb neutral palette and it's like 12 bucks. So if you want a neutral palette and your my skin tone are deeper, this one might be more suitable for you. Like I said, I did pick up the coconut palette, but I think this one will show up a lot better on a lot of different skin tones. So do not sleep on this palette. It is such a good neutral palette. I love it so, so much. This is like my favorite neutral palette that ColourPop came out with a long time ago. This is the I Think I Love You palette. I love this guy so much. The shimmers are so creamy and buttery. And you can just do a ton of great neutral looks with this palette. So really, really like that. Two newer, actually the last three are all newer. This one, I don't know, does this count as a neutral palette? I did grab it to show you guys. This is a Sweet Talk palette. I don't love this color story, but I did pick this up. This is like one of the first palettes where they did like a Super Shock and the press glitters and all that nonsense so I thought I would feature it and I think a lot of light skin women really are enjoying this palette so I thought I should include that for you lighter skin tone people that watch me just to kind of give you an idea so two palettes left I haven't used this one yet this is the California Love palette and again another beautiful neutral palette I think yeah I need to use this <laughs> I don't know this is terrible but just thought I'd mention that that I have it and then this one I've been digging into recently this totally caught my eye probably because of the beautiful grungy-ish packaging but I have been using it and I used it twice already love this palette it's so gorgeous the mattes are my fave and i did use the shimmer called duh on my eyelids the other day and i really really did enjoy it so yeah i think those are all really stellar palettes from ColourPop. okay guys i hope you enjoyed this long long video on some of my favorite neutral palettes in my collection let me know your thoughts down in the comments i hope you found this useful and entertaining if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video soon bye guys